you guys to the next part. And yes, it is about basically my Camaro. And it's not for the Camaro Facebook group because I haven't been on there. Because they said something that kind of made me upset. So that's why I don't mess with them now. But um, either way, I wanted to show you guys that I'm going to, like in the description, I'm using Seafoam. This will be the first time putting it into my Camaro. I mean, I've done it for, I had an Acura TSX, a 2004 Acura TSX. And I've added it to the oil, where the oil goes in. And the air intake, the air f filter basically, to basically clean out any of the oil deposits. So I'm doing that right now, so I'm going to flip this camera so you guys can see. So right here, I got two bottles. I bought a bottle like maybe six months ago, half a year ago, of Seafoam from the, on Walmart. So I bought this one just yesterday. This is new. I just got this from Advanced Auto Parts anyway um or advanced discount auto parts anyway so i'm gonna be adding some i did watch like a video on youtube from the actual seafoam company they have a youtube channel so i'm just got to unscrew my actual oil intake and you can see i have 5w30 right here it says sae it's on the cap so let me just unscrew the cap counterclockwise and pull it out and you can see the hole right there so now all i gotta do is i'm gonna pause the video get a funnel i do have a funnel to put inside of here and then i'll be taking off the cap for the sea foam and then i could pour some in there i'm gonna pour about half a can for my camaro because it's only a v6 it's not the v8 or the eight cylinders so half a bottle should do fine for now and I, the other bottle that I have that is basically the same size, I'll be using that for my um, gas. I'll put it into the gas tank. Anyway, I'm going to pause the video and get the funnel, and then I'll take this cap off, and then I'll start showing you guys me pouring it in there. Hold on. All right, guys, welcome back. So I got my funnel that I bought from um, Advance, um, Discount Advanced Auto Parts place. And the cap, you have to squeeze the edges to make sure you get it to unscrew for the seafoam just so you know so now that we have that cap off and I have the funnel in here and it's pretty deep and it's long so it's good so we know it'll go in there anyway so now I'm going this is all of my left hand I just want to make sure because I'm holding my camera to show you guys so I'm going to start adding some if it comes out I don't know oh it's got a lid hold on I got to pull that plug off off the top of it all right, you guys, so I removed the cap, the little cover that you have to pull. It's like a little plug that has a um, little circular holder. So I pulled it out. And now I'm just going to make sure I got this. This Okay. I just want to make sure that this is going to go and not fall all over the place. There we go. So I'm pouring it. You can see it's going in. Remember, I'm only adding about half for because this is what you need to do. Supposedly, that's what the um the people from seafoam was saying that he added like i think he said three fourths or something like that or one third i forget exactly but all i know is that i'm adding half because i don't know because i think he was working on a ford and i don't know if it was a v8 or what but um i got about half you can hear there's still some in there so the reason why I'm doing this is because I know I need to change my oil soon since it's been basically like four years since I've had an oil change or that I changed my own oil. I don't go to like a shop. I do it myself. So I'm just putting on the cap. Okay. There it goes. Locked in place. And I'm going to get uh, some toilet paper and test out the oil um, to see the oil stick. I gotta pull that out and then see if it is black or not. But I know that if it is black, then it definitely needs an oil change. So I will be driving my car, car probably like about 20 to like 50 miles just to make sure that the, um, the sea foam is taking effect into the engine and everything, cleaning out any oil deposits. But I did read like on eBay, um, not eBay, but on 
Google was saying that um, some guy was posting saying that he does his he rides after he adds his sea foam he rides for about 50 100 to 200 miles so I'm doing only 50 because I want to just test everything out I got to make sure that my car starts and everything is running fine but I'm pretty sure it will because like I know I only saw like an oil light one time since I started my car about a month ago so like I'm pretty sure it's not really anything of a big issue but I just want to make sure because I know that I haven't changed my oil in forever so you know because I was in a coma and everything but either way I just wanted to mention this information to you guys so I'm going to pause the video and get a to piece of toilet paper and test out the oil stick to see if it's black already or not hold on all right you guys I got me some toilet paper now you can use just regular um not toilet paper but um the actual paper towels so I'm going to pull my um oil stick out and then I'll test out uh, wipe it onto the pa toilet paper just to see how dark it is so give me a second while I'll do that all right you guys so I got my oil stick out and I wiped it down you can see it's not even that black it's just a little like brown I guess unless that's just the color from the oil that's already in there but um either way I did just had sea foam and since it actually looks pretty good I may just go ahead and finish off the whole can just to make sure that it's cleaned out pretty well so I need to add my oil stick back in in a second here I'm just gonna double check because I only just recently pulled it out so I just want to make sure I want to stick it back in there pull it back out and see if it looks the same color hold on all right you guys so I pulled out the oil stick one last time and this is the back side of the same on toilet paper and you can see it still looks the same color it doesn't look that dark or anything so I will be probably I will be putting the rest of the sea foam in here just to make sure since it is a v6 it has six cylinders so I just want to make sure that each cylinder is being cleaned out of any kind of oil deposits and then while riding it I'll be riding because I got to go to work today and I need to go get my leopard gecko her name is Sophie I need to get her her cricket so I'll be driving to the bait shop to get her crickets and then I need to go to work and it's supposed to supposedly rain it doesn't look like it right now but it's supposed to rain later on today like a thunderstorm so I did replace my um my windshield wiper blades because like I went to when I went to go get the sea foam and the oil and everything um I, when I was at advanced auto parts I had went back because I remembered that I was thinking I was going to need to replace the windshield wiper blades because you know it's been four years since I replaced the first set that was already on there so I got me some new ones tested it out made sure it was working fine and everything was good so I got new windshield wiper blades and they're rated for they have a warranty for 90 days right now I mean I could have gotten like a two-year warranty but that was going to cost me actually like four dollars so I was like nah, I'm good with the 90 days and if I have to buy 90 days I could just buy and replace these same ones that I have on here either way I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of this um sea foam that's left in here because it's not a whole lot it's probably like a little more than half but either way I just want to mention this information to you guys and if you like this information please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or concerns I am going to be testing this out and I will be doing a video about um, doing the oil change and I'm going to be changing my spark plugs again this year because you know like I know I made a video about 10 years ago on YouTube about how I replaced my oil and my spark plug so I did make sure that I had a socket size and everything set up for all that I just need to wait probably like another week or two before I get the rest of the spark the spark plugs I got the oil so I'll do that video first but then the spark plugs will be next Either way, hope you guys liked the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.